action also to come. Uh, this is what only heat number six. We're gonna have two more. The final matchup between uh, EG and Cloud9 has been rescheduled to the Prepare Monday, I believe. I can't keep track of the days anymore, guys. There's just too much freaking Dota to be honest with you. So. With that said, let's go ahead and just go with the match at hand. Team Secret taking on Newbie. I'll lead out introductions here. Dire side, it's going to be none other than the young prodigy, Rabbit, who was bought for a huge lump sum of money to be added to this new championship Newbie squad. He's going to be playing your Tidehunter. we got San Chang going to be playing your Earthshaker. Hao is going to be playing your Medusa Banana on your Jakiro. Moo is going to be playing on your Viper. And here goes the early movement we were expecting. Being able to read the potential laning here as far as detecting who's going to be where. And you can see S4 is going to be on this axe, uh, just stalking each other. There's going to be the early sentry plant to block out the pole, and new people kind of swarm towards this bottom root spot. Jenkins, you going to be the flavor and uh, tell me about Team Secret right here. Okay, on. Uh Here's Snoppy going middle. Puppy. Dazzle. Arteezy on his die four signature die. The battle He's played begins. that quite a lot. We'll see bottom fish are going to be deployed and it's going to be uh, picked up there. Axe grabs it. Rabbit actually stuck for a little bit. It's going to eat a few extra pot shots there from Kuroki and then we'll get the separation back. So it looks like San Shang. It's going to be helping out, at least at the start here, Rabbit throws out the early block, and that will get the creep delivery by the tower so we can get some early XP in. And after that, yeah, San Shang is glad to do that, pops clarity, and he'll migrate his way back towards the top lane. So Medusa versus Razor. We wouldn't have seen this matchup, though, at TI4. How do you fare uh, with the Medusa going against the Razor here? I feel like Arteezy should have the upper hand in this one. Here, Tango's in the south to help up, but yeah, he'll continue to whip her up, and she's going to have a hard enough time as it is turning around and walking away, so a little bit of a movement boost. RCZ could get it done, and and uh, what the hell? It looks like Rabbit got picked off bottom. Yeah, it wasn't technically first blood. He just killed, but secret. Do strike first. Rabbit, not too sure what happened there. It looks like just maybe a, a quick little call set up after a telekinesis gets it done. They're not letting up quite yet. Rabbit could still be in trouble here. Does get off the anchor smash. And this is very awkward right now. S4 <laughs> is able to just walk him down and continue to chop him. This is uh, looking like Secret being the bullies here in this bottom lane. Oh, they jump on in once more and they get the call right on the creep. So the spins come on through. And with a few more right clicks, the fade bolt, the last possible second self salve is going to get canceled. But that salve did save his life. But it is relentless here for Rabbit. He's got four tangos left. He needs to quickly use them on up. And S4 is going to have a nice breezy time here in the bottom lane. Here comes Kuroki. He's clarity on up. Maybe. Uh, he's not going to have time to be able to get enough mana for the combo, but a telekinesis is all you really need here. If you time it out with the static link, that's going to get a lot of damage soaked. And while well, he waits, Puffy's also nearby. This could be a hate. No! How is still too close to Cal the action? Turn back and get it! Telekinesis, there's the whip, instant reaction. As Rotation comes through, it's going to be Banana, throws out the dual breath, and it's going to be enough to get them back. Ooh, new flies out there from Arteezy, but will not connect. He almost goes down to the tower shots alone, but now he will bottle up. So, very touch and go play from both sides. No one ends up getting killed. And with the rotation from Banana, it looks like Hal's going to be fine. Okay, here comes the fish, Arteezy. Gets popped in the noggin with that, plus the ice path. Dual breath, very slow here. Mystic Snake, one more right click and he can go down. Do they have the fissure? Oh, they need more mana. He is still running. Can't even take the time to eat a tingle. Oh, there's the fissure. He got the mana together with the clarity that was popped. And Arteezy does go down. Now even one to one.
Ouch. This is going to be a matchup he's not going to like pretty much all the game. So, I want to do his best to try to avoid this Viper in any sort of confrontation. Rabbit's back on bottom now. He's found his way to three and a half here. Look at the other side. S4 is level five on his axe. And he is wrecking with this already executioner decked out cosmetic set. It's looking pretty gruesome. He's got 1,200 gold. He might just reserve up and see if he can get the, the fastest blink ever, at least for now. So, just looking like dominance here. Oh, yeah. The Viper booster could be coming in right here. For now, oh, wait. What's his gold at? He's got 13. What did he buy? Come on, yeah. Yep, there's the bite booster. So you're right, good call on that one. So he's gonna go with the early meaty kind of a build in the Vanguard. Now we can really dive the tower without care. So do they make a last minute rotation change right here? How's it gonna work in this top lane with Zai? Meanwhile, back on bottom lane, they're gonna make the go on the Rabbit with that Vite Booster. They wanted to engage with double rotation. Fisher to lead it in. A lot of commitment coming out from Newbie. Kuroki splits off and has got through the trees to walk away from this one and he might have slipped himself on out. Grabs up a TP scroll, will pop it and he will make it away. A regular Houdini, if you will. Kuroki, what a jolly fella. And newbie, all bottom, <laughs> at a party where really there was no chicks at. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. They commit a lot to come on down here, and it looks like they're gonna have Jakiro and Rabbit now be side by side. It just feels very uncomfortable at the start of this for Newbie as far as where they want to be and how they want to farm up, with the exception of Moo, who's you know getting a lot or as much as he can out of this mid, mid lane. He's got an impressive 33 CS, only next to S4, who's been chopping and spinning the hell out of bottom lane. So we'll see. Razor makes his return. Arteezy, where's he at on CS? 30 and 16. So he's still doing pretty good himself. We'll see where he looks to take it from here. Razor just really has been in the dark as of recent. So, and this isn't your usual Razor lineup that we've seen a la TI4, but he might need to be careful here. We got a smoke on San Shang and Banana also nearby. He's got good position, though. Oh. Yeah, looks like they're gonna pull off. Is under attack. Sai, he doesn't know they're there. Nope, he does not. He's walking right into trouble. Sanchez is there. Throws out the fissure. It's gonna be a nice Dyer's block, and he's gonna tuck himself into a corner. Turn as the rotation comes. Get up the early to the goo, and it's the time to lock the bed. Here's Arteezy soaking up huge amounts of damage, and now he's gonna begin to whip it home if he wants to. Banana could be in big trouble on this one. Fade bolt, right click, one more. Got it right there. Rubik gonna pick up that Dyer's one. And it's all said and done. It ends up being just a simple one for none. But look at a bottom lane. S4 is dancing around with Rubik. Now he gets the call out. Or not Rubik, Rabbit. Now Dyer's Rabbit will have to walk away. But this is no respect right now in this bottom lane. They're just gonna look to chop Radiant's on this tower. tower and they don't have any care attack. for this Rabbit Tide Hunter. Arteezy going into the dive on the half. Viper right behind, and I think Arteezy's not going to uh, find a way out. Very slow now. He slowly burns down. There's going to be the last hit. Who gets that one? And it will be 3-2 to two now in favor of Secret. But here comes S4. The bottom lane still has that Vanguard. But he's thinking about making a sweep on in. Uh, he shows himself. But don't wait. They still have Kuroki here nearby for maybe a potential setup. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. That's four. He's a man. He's got a man I don't care about none of that crap. I'm gonna go kill this bird. Eat it for dinner. Whatever. So we'll go at it. Chop it on down. And then Kuroki might step out from this lane. And now Zai, who was formerly on the top position, is gonna be working with mid. 
Him and uh, Earthshaker, it looks like, are going to take a little bit of that me time to farm on up. Earthshaker at level 3. Definitely needs it. His eye on his Bristleback does have his level 6, so... Does he decide to go down the tanky road as well? I mean, I, I imagine already with the Vanguard picked up on Axe, he could just go for the Crimson Guard, and maybe Zai could consider something like a pipe? Sanjanyasha. Oh. creeps that was originally laid out for rabbit poor little rabbit head towards top lane to maybe make something happen so they do make the go s4 could be in trouble and he will go down but maybe a bit of faith created because they are robbing newbie from behind their back right now Outside. Oh, two shots is all it takes. And now, okay, now they're like, okay, well, they're not able to get a hold of uh, <laughs> little Rubik, but they see that the damage has been done. So it's hard to say really who comes out on top. They are able to get the, yeah, at least they paid. <laughs> Radiance top oh well. tower is under attack. Oh, well, looks like Rabbit now is going to accept the reality that he's going to do it the, uh, the old fashioned way. He does have his arcade boots, however, and Moo is able to throw together his mechanism. So they definitely have the substance in case the jump in does come, but I'm still feeling like this is going to get out of hand pretty quick. We have a lot, a lot of frontliners here. S4 is already going to go into farming up that blink dagger. He's got one double stack right here. And I imagine Puppy, who we haven't seen a lot of, he's been working with these stacks and creeps and pulling them back. He's, he's being the babysitter. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Ooh, happens to walk on away and out of an ice path. Fisher does connect, but that, that point, they're so deep. They're questioning their commitments. As he makes a go onto his S4, the Ravage will fly up. They get Kuroki, and now they're making a go onto Zai. And he's showing them their back as best as possible. Puppy is able to show up, but he's got no more mana for a shallow break, so he can't save him. Zai will go down. It's two for none. S4, who is tangled up here with Alan Medusa, pulls out the call, gets the dunk. On the banana. Now he's running on forward, trying to body block Halibut. And then he ends up reverting back. So when it's all over, it looks like it ends up being a, what, two for one? Did they take down Kuroki initially at the beginning of that? So it's two for two. Heads down. There it is. Only a slight advantage right there for Newbie. Yeah. More or less uh, good execution from Secret. Very uh, experienced players here. They've been around the block. So they know exactly what a Tidehunter is going to do, what a Tidehunter needs to do when he doesn't get to farm. So they just hit it one step ahead. That's how Secret seemed to be playing, man. You get one thing going, Secret yes. already got four. So for now, San Shang migrates through the bottom lane, puts down the ward, and they'll just go back to finding out what kind of farm they can get. But Mid game is getting ready to develop here, and you got an axe who's about to get ready to put that blink online. It certainly helped out that he got that dunk on the banana because he's going to have his blink shortly after this big stack of the ancient camp, and I imagine things are going to get a bit harder here for newbie, as if they weren't hard enough. So now, Blink is online here for S4, and they ping out mid lane, looking to make it happen. How would be the prized target? He is invested fully into the ultimate orb. Probably going for that straight to Scotty build that we just saw prior to this. So with that, I have to be a bit careful. Ward expires, and they plant one of their own. 
Hiroki will wait it out in the front for now, but this could be a big one here for Secret. If they get this win, they take down this Tier 4, and options open up for a potential Roche. Now that both these Tier 1s on the, both the bottom and mid lane have been taken care of, access for a quick TP from Newbie, Radiant's not going to be as easy. Arteezy right now is adding pressure to top lane, but he does certainly have a TP if necessary. Same goes for S4. So they have eyes on this mid lane. In fact, it looks like Puppy actually put out the weave here onto Howe. There could be potential to jump somewhat soon. Oh, the jump is going to have to stop. He's not going to get the call off. And immediately, two TPs fly out from Newbie. One's going to be canceled, and they, uh, well, just pull away. Yeah. Yep. And, and now the stolen Viper Strike goes on to Howe, but Howe just walks on back. Meanwhile, Rabbit doing with uh, one of the stacks he can actually get for himself. But look at this. Secret knows. Yep, Secret knows. They get their smoke and they creep on forward. And Rabbit's going to be in trouble. There's the jump in. There's the call. He has the Ravage. But by that point, he is absolutely dead. S4 gets the dunk off. And EG finally find their kill. They look bottom. Then they go for mid. And, well, it's Rabbit who's going to be served up. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's courier that was a dunk on a courier. That was S4 walking up and just, oh, free courier, dunk. Dyer's okay. Bottom tower is under and attack. now Newbie have no courier, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> oh, my God. the move we'll see how tanky this this viper is now the weaves out the armor begins to deplete it looks like he's gonna get a nice steal on the fissure use it on the move desperation echo slam comes on forward rabbit is there with the rabbit but he holds on to the lake he's called out rabbit will fly as four the razor will fire but he's slow on here for now Blink out, walk away. The Loki, however, is going to be roasted and toasted. As he walks back, he goes back in, but here comes Zai. Now, this is up the big quill damage. Move, move it up. But here comes Al, pops up the stone boots. Zai, slowly creeping away from this one. Dual breath is going to be there. Puppy has a grave. Two more seconds, but it's going to be too late. And four, back from a four. Jumps in, gets the dunk, takes down Jakiro. Another weave flies out just to go. How long this fight's been going? That was two weaves. <laughs> Mine. Radiance Middle Tower is under man, attack. Oh man. That looked like that was going to be the big moment there for Secret 2. When Zai showed up, it was like, Dyer's okay, this is it. They're going to start to attack. fall, but it was Hao who showed up, popped the stone gate, and things dramatically turned around. on top how shows up but he could have just showed up to his own demise they already have eyes on this medusa martiz is here so is s4 they are rounding the bed this tower is very low and tasty we get to deny he gets to deny looks like he will walk away so secret linger in the area but they don't look to go for a commitment perhaps just knowing that too many newbie members are missing from the map and don't want to risk a big counter fight where they end up losing in the end Are fortified. Here we go, CPM. They're gonna make the jump. They can hold the move. A second attempt here. Duel goes out and goes the lead. The move is gonna be in big trouble. They're trying to do this. No ravage, but they have it now if they need it. And Arteezy's already on the hunt, going for the banana on the left hand side. They're looking to finish off move. They get it there with the dunk. Two already go down. Rabbit runs away. He can't use this rabbit. He needs to save it when he has everyone at the ready. So Sen Sheng helps him get the passage out with that fissure. But Secret who still come out big. They take down two and now they're looking to take out the tier one tower mid. They'll need to wait at least 
for their precious move Viper to come back, or will they? They do have Echo Slam and Ravage, plus with Howl. I don't know how much of a defense they can do it with just the three of them. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. There's the fissure. It's Arteezy, but not on the blocking side. Dyer's so the tower, tower will go down. Rabbit will... Yeah. So they have to pull away. Secret come up. Big winners there. Taking Dyer's down two, taking down the tower. And a nice little deny to add a little spice on top of it. Puppies. Just taking that extra bit of goal away from C from Newbie. So with that, their network is going to climb up towards the 6 foot mark. We're at 9-9, nine nine, but it, it definitely feels like Secret are very much in control of this game. If they're uh, not able to complete their objectives, then things could prove to be a bit more trouble if Howe's able to put together the farm. But as it stands right now, I think Secret feels pretty confident. might know that. Maybe they're looking to catch out Secret while they're trying to de-ward and stuff. And, oh, a very tempting DD run. But if they take Dyer's it and see it, they know that they're smoked up. Attack. But Puppy, oh, I'm wrong place, wrong time, buddy. And uh, he just sees uh, the whole newbie team. Hi, how you doing? And uh, gets absolutely annihilated. But this is now, uh, yeah, this is new newbie's chance. Dyer's they got the DD. They go into the attack. Roche. And Secret, they're not looking to contest right now, it looks Dyer's like. They know this is happening, I would feel, with Puppy scouting out the whole team there and not seeing them on the map at this point. You know that they're doing rogue, so they'll just confidently continue to farm and split push for now. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Roshan has fallen to the Dyer. How back on top lane now to finally stop the split push. Secret. Uh, now newbie gets something going for themselves after what's been a pretty lopsided game to this point. A good pick on Puppy and now a follow up with the Roche. It looks like with this extra life, they can wait a bit. They can itemize and then it's going to be their turn if they want to look to take some towers because they certainly need it. For my God, they only have this mid tier one which was denied, mind you. Five tier one still there. Top tier one still there. They're actually pretty full on life. There's a lot of gold on the map. Newbie just needs to take it, but that might be too hard. This is secret after all. Uh-oh. Easy sees Moo. Already pulls out the damage. He's just sucking it all up. And there's S4. Moo is just going to be... Yep. yep. There's nothing else you need to say. Moo's dead now. And rest in pieces to him. But that's a sweet pick. Exchange there for secret. And with that, they can add a little bit of pressure. Maybe go for their own tier 2 in this mid lane if they'd like. There's going to be no day of a rabbit for you. Unfortunately, the only did miss, but it doesn't matter. They take him down anyways, but now they put their focus onto this Tier 2 tower. Another pick off, another good jump in. S4 has been doing a real number with his axe play in the DAC so far. It's the insta-cast as well that Rubik does. It's just beautiful. Very, very good. And he's probably just going to save it. You get a blink dagger. Why not, right? That makes for easy snaggings. Because, uh, well, you've got plenty of options. Aside from that fissure, of course, there's always the ravage. Anytime you see Viper, it's a free uh, Viper strike. Hell, even still gains wouldn't, wouldn't be too bad from how. So, tier 2, very low on life here on the bottom lane. we got to see what Newbie wanted to do. They still have that Aegis on how. So, they need to find a time to really make use of it. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. It's probably going to just be a bit of what we saw in the LGD game where they just beautifully Dyer's stall out and play a bit more attack. passive and just do stuff on their own terms. 
Maybe if you don't bottom, that's cool. Radiant we'll just go for mid. Tower. If you pull back, we'll just go elsewhere, and you just Dyer's run up and down the map, and we wait for that Aegis to go away. If that Aegis disappears, we're going to come for you. And we're going to have your number. Feels like that seems to be the model for Secret right now. They go for mid, now they call up to top. And all meanwhile, Newbie are Dyer's just somewhere halfway between, kind of spread apart from each other, not looking to really move as a unit. And this is just time on the clock ticking and ticking. over here all jointly doing their ancients before they could get possibly nabbed up once more nearby Kuroki scouting out in this here he sees him up by that side shop not looking to do much about it quite yet but now he is walking right over a newbie ward like right next to a newbie ward the little monocle guy is staring at his face and uh, he's got to be careful here newbie creep on forward don't look too suspicious he might be able to get a quick pick, but no. Nope. Kuroki walks away. I still think have a lot of hype for something that just was not going to be happening whatsoever. That's the fact. <laughs> Could probably get it right there. There it is. They bolt to blink. Why not? Arcane's up, and what about Zai? Zai's got that Sage and Yasha already, looking to build up into his own personal BKB. Or he got the Ogre Club. Damn near got the hammer. So he's going to be very close to having it. And Medallion is pretty much all Puppy needs. Just Medallion and some wards and your Dazzle job is done. You're occasionally able to get some XP and some levels and make your weave even better. That's cool too. He's like one of those heroes like, you know, like Disruptor and stuff where just him being there, having the skills is really what counts. I mean, given, hopefully you're not going to be too squishy, but you know what I mean. goes for. For now, it looks like Newbie would love to be able to bait out how. There's no vision on the high ground there for Secret to see that they have a lot of them parked behind. But Secret are still doing their own thing. Walking as their own group. So quickly nab up the bounty. It's a very high tension game right now from both sides. Just not looking to really venture out too much on their own. The buddy-buddy system <laughs> certainly in effect right here. they do venture up to their own woods, we'll see that there's nothing to take and that's going to be unfortunate for them. Okay, he's feeling pretty confident here, but now he opts to pull back. And wow, we're going to have a pause coming up from Puppy. Of all people, oh goodness, oh good, oh goodness, yay! <laughs> Oh, did you DC? No? Alright. No, I didn't see that. Oh, wow. No, for me it was S4. Puppy, it was Puppy who did first, so I saw the Puppy pause initially. I'm like, oh, how, 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 <laughs> how funny. <laughs> but it looks like it was just a bit of a Everyone got breached or something, but we're all back into the game, and it looks like we'll get back in underway, so. With that, nothing really was breaking out on, like, last game, where it was, like, right in the middle of a freaking heyday. For here, though, Zai just kind of walking away from the top for now. So you continue your own bit of farm here. I mean, Zai has already got his BKB, and he's got an Ogre Club. Interesting. Oh, an active Scepter. He's probably got the early strength component. Okay. I just haven't seen Razor in so long. Welcome back.
About 28 minutes in, S4 is absolutely farmed at this point. It's 5, 1, and 2. And, well, he's got about 3,700 gold. Still saved up. Already on top of the BKB with still a fresh 9 seconds left. So, top of the net worth, mind you. How often are you going to see an axe at this point in the game? Top of the net worth above this Medusa, above this Razor. So, 20 gold, what the hell is he saving up for? Is he going to get a heart? He's getting something in, in one lump sum. That way, when like when they do engage, they're gonna be like, "Holy crap! Axe has a blah blah, whatever it may be." Yeah, I think that's good. That's good surprise back. He holds a lot of that reliable gold at least for now, and he'll go to town here on the bottom. But Secret are happy to stall out. It looks like, even though you're going against Medusa, which is one of the last heroes you really wanna be stalling out against. But they feel confident enough, at least for now. Even the supports are bringing in wealth of farm. Obviously, Kuroki already put together that Blink Dagger, and, well, it looks like it is the Agnums. Now complete on Arteezy, Radiance and the ATP towards mid. It looks like it's time to make a go. Top lane, newbie, one of breach, our Radiance tier one tower. We'll stall it out, at least for now. Do they look to engage? Not even going to make it easy for a tier one tower? Radiance oh, the deny. Top tower has been denied. That's two denied, by the way, so... Oh, they put out the weave and newbie just instantly peace out. Oh, they're missing. They want to fight. Let's get the hell back. Play it extra safe. Ooh. S4 instantly sees a, a viper, but they're not too distracted by it. They're still smoked. But newbie are not going to be going out anytime soon. Bottom of the lane is the only air that's safe. <laughs> Outside the other door on the bottom of the world, away from anywhere a secret could be. See here how they're able to take down these things. Nope. Very close, very close. I'm ready for them to breach here. This has been a buildup for quite a while. It could be one and done. Another one and done kind of a game where they're able to go right towards the base and get the job done. Or you go for Roche, maybe bait out an opportunity from Newbie to force him into a fight or a bad spot. Like, they see each other's wards down. They know Secret have vision on this high ground, but they don't want to move in because then S4 can make them jump and grab them. So Newbie are in a very awkward position right now. Where they know what's going on, but they can't exactly find a good way to get in there without risk putting themselves in a very bad position. Their lanes are beginning to push on in. Rabbit is way far behind right here with the Rabbit, so it's going to be an easy rush right there for Secret. S4 sees if he could dash on in and get a hold of anyone, but Newbie have already forfeited it. So Newbie are in a, a very defensive state, very passive, just curled up in a ball at this point, maybe hoping to just find some farm and go for a solid defense, and that defense might have to be in their own high ground, unfortunately. Feels like that whole big opportunity. I mean, there's not going to be a good opportunity for the jump in Ravage, big Echo combo. People, you know, you think it's easy. Jump in Ravage and Echo and you got the win. Dyer's there's three BKBs on attack. Secret Side. They can just easily go golden, boys, and then all of a sudden, Dyer's you're worthless. You've just committed so much. So... And at this point, Artie hasn't had to use his own BKB. He's got the full fresh 10 seconds on it. Or Zai's got full 10 seconds on it. They didn't have to take fights. They didn't want to 
do worthless BKB pops. They've been saving it for this moment. And we've only got one Ravage to work with and, and one Echo and one set of stun. You better make it count. And there's not going to be a good window of opportunity. At this point, Secret's so far that they'll get what they want done within that 10 second window. They don't get much done in the base, but they're just adding the pressure there, and then they pull back. It's like suffocation right now for Nubia. So with that, we are able to move down and finally get rid of that pesky ward on the high ground. Uh, though the Roche has already been done, the value of that vision isn't too important to secret for now, so they're still full of control on what they want to do. Side pulls all the way on back here, but he's the Aegis holder. So with that bit of confidence and now 2k gold farmed up, what do you farm here for your whistle back at this point? You already got your Sanjo Nyashin, your BKB, your defenses are all together. Does he... Now pick up something, maybe like an AC, to add a little bit of uh, that minus armor, additional minus armor out there, already on top of his goo and the Dazzle ultimate. They're gonna get something. One of them's gonna get it, and it's gonna be a bigger benefit for their team. They don't really need much more of a benefit at this point. Newbie, I mean, look at them. They don't know. They're. If we look at their view. It's like we can see the top rune area. That's it. We don't know what the hell's going on anywhere else. We're just sitting inside where it's safe. If we go out there. If we go outside of our bubble. <laughs> the bad guys are gonna get us. <laughs> That's just what it feels like. They're just waiting. They they can't do anything in secret or taking all the farm off the map. All of it. it. Looks like they uh, take that ward and put it right back. <laughs> well, they'll leave it up. I mean, I don't know if that's a, a like a foreseeing into the future that they're just going to stall out again and wait for the next Roche before they really end it and get themselves into the base. There is the DD, the good old magical mighty rune, which could be a game changer itself. This is Secret's game at their pace. If they want to get rid of it, then so be it. But for now, it's it feels like they're in full control, and when they want to look to execute, it's, it's on their call. enough though it's gonna be tricky I mean she's gonna need the armor but what she can get with the goose coming out the weave will probably be deployed on her head and you always have Arteezy there sapping away whatever bonus damage she's trying to get for herself so it's gonna be tricky but if Medusa does have the opportunity if Howe gets himself in a good position uh, maybe on top of the hopeful big ravage echo slam with BKBs maybe already down or not in an optimal point and maybe she can unload the right click, but it would only be like the beginning. They would need to make like two or three big fights to really take this game back.
Slip up here, but we're back in it, and sure enough, nothing has happened. Don't worry. Sorry about that big moment. You can pick, they can go crazy all you want, but we're back at it. 11 to 10, still secret, well in dominance here. You can see it's just been a subtle climb all the way up to a 15k net worth lead. About 40 minutes in, it's only been 21 kills, not the most action packed, but more technical here. Secret have been holding a commanding lead through the game, and they are not letting go of anything. They're not giving Newbie any sort of easy opportunity, and have pretty much herded them like sheep back up into their own base. Not feeling comfortable enough to even go out and find the bits and scraps of farm. So, and what... what First thing that 11 to 10 game is so... Oh yeah, absolutely. They know that if one slip up by either team, you're either allowing Newbie to come right back into it, because I imagine... If they are to take this one fight, there's going to be one hell of a rubber band that could bounce back the other way. And if How, let's say, picks up a double, triple kind of a kill, maybe gets a bounty here and there, then he's going to have the next big item instantly. And then your next fight becomes a little bit more difficult. And then a little bit more difficult. Next thing you know, it's newbie on the swing back. So, Secret also, they got to also make sure they do this at the right time. But Roche is up. They actually did stall all the way from this Roche to the next one. Remember last time they got the Roche, they, I believe, cleaned out the last outer tower and then did some damage to the Tier 3 <laughs> inside the base. That's how timid both teams took the whole Aegis phase. But, oh, MKB. Oh, so that butterfly is under attack. on how is now no problem here for your Bristleback. That's good. Oh, they go for the D-Ward, but s gets a hold of it, jumps in, that's how cautious you have to be. Oh, the dunk goes out, but it's not enough. Stone Gaze to zone them back, and Secret now with that. They do sacrifice their BKB, but I think they got to feel a lot more confident if they want to go for the Roche here. No Stone Gaze up, that's not too shabby, but we'll see if that's going to be the call, and sure enough it is. So with that Secret going, they'll do their Roche, they'll get their Aegis, and they probably charge right towards the newbie base. Uh, this may be I don't know if I'll have to 20 minutes That's gonna be rough Pods will fly out here unfortunately But the uh, Aegis Holder is gonna be bristled back once more and with that BKP, he can get the most optimal damage out there. Bristleback and Medusa, two fighters who love a long-winded fight. And getting more and more out of the quills and out of the ultimate. And, well, now he can get more pot shots in with that MKP. Cheese is going to be in the hands of Arteezy. So now he can really get in the mix with that, but looks like it's just a pause. No one said why, but it did come out from you know, the team secret side. So, you're thinking that movie, they need to fight now, even into the Aegis, that this is their best chance to kind of make something happen, maybe go for a, a flank kind of a play and catch him on off guard? Best chance. They could stall up. The Aegis is going to be something. How would like I think, but I, I don't think they're Alright, so... We'll see if Newbie feel the same way as how he can just farm up what he can through the jungle. Same goes for Moo here. So he can pretty much stuck in position after getting his Manta style and holding this Vite Booster. Not really developing too much more after the Viper. It's clearly more all in the back of how's Medusa at this point. So we'll see here. As for finally got to use his BKB. Or I think no, he did use it once before, but. Takes it down another notch, 8 seconds, still plenty of time to work with here. It looks like he's still got the early makings of the Albert he wants to put together. That could definitely do problems onto Medusa, who did not go the Lincoln's build, mind you, so... She will be nerfed significantly if he gets a hold of that. Okay, we see here they're gonna cross over the side shop. Secret nearby. No, no vision there for Newbie. Same goes for Secret. They don't see each other. Oh, 
They dance close, but man, they can't commit. S4 scouts out Mu, but doesn't know who else is nearby. It's the king call. They might go for it here. Arteezy leading out the charge. Not S4. Maybe looking for S4 to have the follow-up, but yeah. But he's still getting big damage from it. Yeah, that's 260 damage, man. Right here, damage. Go ahead. Maybe he uses that damage right now. We'll see. This is going to be one and done. It's going to be a defensive weave called out from Puppy. Now that we get the circuit on in, Zyman, who has the agent, and he's going to jump the sand king in the next four, and he's able to take him down, mano y mano. How is he able to pop up the stone gaze, and Zyman's able to turn his back. He walked away, looked away, stone gaze, now he's going to use the Kuroki the other way. Now it's going to be secret. Look at the unleash, the rabbit was called out, Kuroki. Is he able to get it to move to the other side? Al goes down, the big dunk by Mu, S4, wicked sick, Mu, man since the last second, but it's not enough, Buyback now has to come out now, he's looking to get re-engaged, and here comes the re-rotation, back from Newbie, still a tier 3 stance after all is said and done, secret pull away, and I mean they win the fight, it's <laughs> well, look at that. It's going to be five for one with the two buybacks, but still no structures take down. Turning lower and lower. So, uh, there's... There for... Getting off a... A better rock. Ravage. A good ravage. Maybe even a double ravage. I mean, he's probably building towards the pressure next, and he's got 2,500 gold. Man, oh man. There's, that's, even even with that many people dying, that's that still went better than probably could have hoped. Their towers just didn't die. So secret, we gotta think what we do from here. We expended a lot, but so did newbie. I swore made the jump there onto Sanchez and took him out of the mix before he could get anything off. So I suppose they do still have an echo slam if they can make some plays happen from here given that Secret don't have that Aegis any longer. But, I don't know, that's a bit of a tall order here, uh, tall order here but <laughs> nonetheless, they might have stalled this game out even further at this point. But the pauses continue. And, uh, well, I can see we have a whole new audience tuning in. I know our game is probably taking longer than most. <laughs> With all these pauses, it's driving me mad. But here we go, we're gonna get back and underway here. Secret versus Newbie. Obviously, Secret, the huge favorite of this one. I mean, a month ago or whatever, you wouldn't think if you put newbie against secret, it'd be like 80 to 20 odds, but sure enough, it is. Where's, where's I guess newbie are making him sweat it out. I'm still not convinced quite yet that newbie really have enough to, to breach and take it back towards secret. It would take a couple of pretty significant fights, and if secret want to, they could just starve out newbie even further, stall out a bit more, and... Maybe wait for the next Roche. Newbie, they consider maybe the They definitely want to take it. The Deuce is getting be pretty gargantuan. Or for the MK next. Or Rapier, but like. Okay, me. Razor Mike. Could be a, could be a Rapier. Make it a Rapier. Just make it a rape you already, how? How you, how else are you gonna do it, buddy? Just get the good old DR together and really hit it home on the secret and that could be their their final hurrah. If it was Havos, it was Ilden, why not? So we'll see if that is gonna be the choice or like you said, the MKB. But for now, Puppy lays down a nice little lane ward and Rabbit. Okay, he makes himself forced to the low ground to keep you away from any sort of trouble. So I briefly scouts him out, but really can't do a lot to stop him. Especially if he's not close enough to hit him with that MKB, so. More or less secret, continue to farm from top to bottom here. As far as net worth though, you can see Medusa is actually taking the top right now, 23k. But then right thereafter is of course S4, Zax, Razor, and then of course that will leave Zai's bristle back. So more or less all secret with the exception of just Medusa, the lone hope for newbie. Poor Viper, man. He's had a uh, reality booster for minutes now. Maybe we finish up this level. There's just no farmer resources out there and whatever there is, they gotta give it to Hal. Mm-hmm. Medusa, it's she's got the hammer. The hammer in addition to her demon. 
Angela. So just stacking on the damage, it looks like, at least for now. That's, that's been interesting. Maybe just valuing the extra damage boost, knowing that any moment, Seeker could just go into the jungle. Same thing again. Gazer could be popped. The dunk already comes on out. Test 4 gets what he wants done. And now our team is frozen solid to go into the mix. And the pawn right in the middle of the fight. Are you kidding me? Bit of lag, unfortunately, it says here for Newbie. Puffy, no surprise, not too happy about it. But uh, as it looks right now, Artiz is still standing. He's currently sapping up what is a lovely sum of damage. 296 damage. That was Paul. That was like, that is so unfortunate. Just don't get it. Like getting hit by Newbie. Oh, man, oh, man. Okay, well, here we go. Banana. There and behind. It's four more seconds for a follow-up ice pack. This BKB. A couple of seconds left. Very awkward stuff. But hey, look who's back and behind. Rabbit has a rabbit got the ready here. This could be Newbie's chance, but look who's right on the sideline as well. Kuroki's there. It's still that rabbit if he jumps in. This is gonna be very interesting. Okay. Newbie looks to walk away. Continues to draining out that damage. BKB is still Gets out the ravage and gets stolen instantly from Kuroki and now they're waiting only for an hour. There's the ravage that was stolen and it gets connected. But here's how still alive. Pushing it back out. Secret gotta walk away from this one. It's the telekinesis lift as rapid is able to jump on forward. Kuroki though gets slowed down. Scotty! Gem hits the deck. Newbie put up a solid defense, and it's secret now on the way out. They only lose their tier three when it's all said and done. And look, look at this. That is a 6-7k bonus lead right now for Newbie. The slowest dip, but it's a start. Well, we said it, that he could do it. Radiant's bottom do tower it. is under attack. I mean, this is the start. Of, this is the start of doing it. definitely what they need. Looks like he's going for the BKB and to break. All right, there's Finally the weave. They make it a go. Look who's behind. Oh, S4 almost got a hold of the with another dunk, but couldn't Radiant get it. Now he's upon his BKB and looks to go forward towards Yao, but he's actually got to run. Yao is going to slowly wear him down. There's Sam Chang catches him with the stun. Force forward. Now the Mantha Illusions up in the head are going to be slowing him down even further. But luckily, he can soak up a damn hit of damage. This guy can take a lick and keep on kicking. I tell you what, S4 gets the hell out of there, and Newbie will pull away. Oof. They're probably okay. happy that they power there. Very questionable pause, unfortunately, in the midst of that fight as far as yes. what the hell was happening. But Newbie are able to at least hold off for now. Secret. And they gotta get that Roche. Roche, new time will pop up momentarily. Having the benefit of that would certainly help out in another go towards that mid lane to finish off what they started. And for Newbie. Now they can feel a bit more confident about maybe putting a contention. I mean, now they got the refresher complete on Rabbit. Double Ravage in order. Speaking of refresher, S4 picks one up himself. Double Dunkage, double Halberd, double BKB, double everything. Double Shivas. All right. That's a, an interesting check, but I mean, on Axe at this game, what do you, what else would you go? All right, I think, uh, Brody, I think it was. Lifestealer, he kind of pioneered this. KB. Uh, I know a lot of people did it with Razor. Brokey started doing it with random heroes. Like Yay and Lifestealer. And second, he can get a refresher. They still haven't been able to throw together that AC though, which could also be super helpful. It looks like Arteezy's trying to get one together. He has the plate mill and about 1,900 gold. Well, that could have certainly been very useful in some of these engagements with the extra benefit from a little bit extra uh, minus armor. Well, we're going to have another pause. Apparently, we have more lag. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. So just a reminder, folks, what wave is this? We're in heat number six, and uh, we still got two more games to go for today. Blaze is going to be joining me for the next two, and should be a jolly old time. But for a matchup at hand here, it's still Secret versus Newbie. And, uh, well... We'll see. Do you think Newbie would be the smart choice for them to contest this Roche and make a go, or do they continue to slow play it until Medusa has built up that said rapier and then tries to go for another high ground defense?
sure they'll be trying to double wrap. I think that I think that's make you. I can't do enough damage. Yeah. If if they get off, this needs the. They can definitely get them. Baiting the beat them. Fortunately, acts as the pressure, so probably for the. Ready, Freddy, says both of them, and we'll give it another go. So with that, Rabbit already farming out these ancient stacks. The Roche timer is pretty damn small. Good for us. We can get action right away. So with that, about 10 more seconds. We'll see. Newbie already have the upper hand being so close. There's no ward up there, as they do have the gem on hand to scout out and see. If we look at Secret's vision, you can see they are going to be completely in the dark as far as the side of the newbie map. For the newbie side, they need to get someone behind enemy lines here and maybe provide that bit of vision. So it looks like Moo's on the job. They'll move on forward here, but the pings are already out. So we'll see if newbie tried to get in there first. Mine. Unfortunately, they don't have that good luck of getting a DD by it, but we'll take the bounty. Uh-oh. It's secret here. They smoke up. Radiant's bottom tower They're going is under into attack. newbie woods. This is going to be interesting because Newbie already coming out from the secret side here. They could end up meeting each other by the secret shop side. He's looking to come in, scouts him out, moves forward, BKB, gets a hold of Pow. Pow's going to look to the BKB, and Pop is still busy. There goes S4. They're trying to move away from the Medusa. Now they turn back, but they're eating a lot of right click damage. Follow up, Ravage is going to be there. Ravage is going to the second, but Echo Slam. He goes down, San Shang, double kill for him. Puppy locked in the corner, but it looks like Newbie are gonna be coming out on top of this fight, and a Roche is gonna be available for grabs. Newbie are on the verge of coming back and going towards Secret. Another big lump sum change, 4,200 gold about, back the other way. It looks like Howe is, forget the Roche, I'm going bottom. He is running on down there, maybe seeing if he can at least get a couple of buybacks out, I suppose on the side of Secret, but how did we come to this point? They got two jumps. There it is. He gets what he wants. The two buybacks come out and they pull away. Exactly what they need. Crap, Bristle's stunned. Like, she's driving him again. Like, right on top of him. In, in the axe. Axe died in. Buybacks. Probably gonna get root. Else. Secret, no, this is happening. The newbie have the damage to take it down quick enough. Oh, I don't think so. Here goes Zai. Pops his BKB. Roach is not down to half life. He goes fight for San Shang. He can be in trouble. Al steps back, pulls out the stone game. It actually catches Arteezy. And now, Al's trying to focus fire Zai down. Zai will drop. And now Lou looks to turn back on the Arteezy. is in trouble. He's gonna be brought down here from the big white for game. As was trying to do something about it, he gets the kill on the Viper, but there goes Artizi now. Rapid on the return on S4. S4 drops him. How? Still good and ready. Senchik back once more, gets the stun off, and they run away from How. Now we're in an awkward position here. We won't be able to jump on him, but he gets a hold of Sanching on the other side of the fissure. So he goes down. How is going to be the lone survivor, and he is getting the hell out of here. Oh my god, what do I do? He is going towards the side shop, and he doesn't end up getting a TP. He actually is looking to go back towards the Roche. Secret are looking to finish off the Roche now. They don't have anyone but S4 to do the damage, but it looks like that could be enough. How's that going to be? Oh, oh, the the stolen vision from the Roche keeps him away from the Roche pit. Now he shows up, but they already blink away. Now they're looking for engagement. Do they throw him up to the high ground? Nope, up and down. Puppy goes to the high ground to get away. The Shallow Grave will save him. And now Rabbit and Howe, hand in hand, head towards Kuroki, who he's going to get his own way out. He's got a TP scroll. He says goodbye. And Secret, oh, they walk away. It's an Aegis in hand for Kuroki of all people. But Secret will take it. But a team that execute Puffy was time somebody on the high ground to see. Shallow graves were excellent. Fucking uh No vision of them. Hopefully that was just uh, excellent.
I actually don't mind this pause. I need a second to breathe. Can we just have a moment for God's sakes? Oh my God. This game went from so passive and calm to like high octane at the drop of a hat. That was a huge turnaround there for newbie. This all started, I mean, mind you, Secret had total control. Look at that, 25 plus. Ooh, as it goes right back down towards the 10K mark already, cut right in half, mostly due to how. How is 5.2K? Where is he at on his buyback? He does have one. He's obviously hold it. But the dream would have been for Newbie to really contest, get a hold of that Aegis, have it, and then maybe go for the Divine Rapier comeback kind of a play. But Secret do a good job contesting even without having everyone involved. And it looks like they might have prolonged this that much further. How is... How is... Well, uh, how is six slotted? Uh, he still sold the Manta. interesting higher game has been off network now his net worth just yeah, he's looping room to grow whereas secret still actually axis yeah it's getting to that point still still can back and ready here we go. Secret put down uh, OBS up here in the newbie side. Looks like maybe a future plotting for maybe a push towards the top part of the newbie map here. And with that, it looks like Tidehunter's going to have not one but two Ravages at the ready. And that was definitely a big game changer for them in the last fight. So now we're at that point where these BKBs actually are starting to wither down a bit. Look, suddenly, S4 has a five second BKB. Arteezy, five seconds on him. Zai. Seven. So, not quite as long as they used to be, not quite as luxurious. There's going to be a Ravage that will connect eventually, unless Secret are to get the jump first. Let's see if we get that opportunity. Newbie are pretty close right now to each other. I keep saying that this could end up being a one and done, but that is definitely not Appreciate the pop in, make the go, gets a hold of Hal. They beat the focus fire. Can they get the dunk off? They can. But now the Soge is going to be popping up and run on the way. There's going to be the first Ravage on the one. Second Ravage also going to connect side. It's immediately going to be taken down by Puppy in the last second. Kicks off the shallow way. The stolen Ravage comes out from Kuroki. The Nana Scout feels the same in the last second. Sai somehow slipping it away down below. Turns the corner, gets the kill up. And he's still fine for now. Hunts down. Ravage making a hold of each other. The supports and Zai go toe to toe. Meanwhile, on the other side, look at this. As Ford RTC go right into the base and they go into the racks. Oh man, how the only lone survivor of Newbie. It was a valiant effort to make the comeback, but it looks like Secret are going to be going right for the jugular. Cliff is going to be pumped, but you cannot stop them. Slowly and surely, they will crumble down. Still with cheese on hand, but it looks like Newbie, Newbie are not going to be able to hit the win. It was so close to the one, but so far. Now, now, final effort here. S4 is just cool. Right clicks you got, bro. There's my jump. And it's over. Newbie with that loss, I believe, are going to be done with the DAC. They are going to be stuck in a bottom four position. Don't quote me on that, but I'm almost certain. And, well, Secret remained to be the one and only undefeated team, now going up to 9-0.